Hey guys, it's Max. How's everyone doing? I got my drink by my side, and I think we should look at these ULTY trades. There's still about 45 minutes left in the trading day. Let's see. I've reviewed some of these ULTY trades they have on some of the same trades they had on last week. Some of them they've rolled out and done things with, but I was going to spotlight a couple of them. Stick around till the end. At the end, I'm going to show you how to turn one of the ULTY strategies into your own and maybe make some money on an earnings stock. Maybe not. You know, there's no guarantees. All right. Death and taxes. That's except for death and taxes, right? Okay. So this is a new chart I made on ULTY. These are all the constituents that are in ULTY. And this is the, the change for today. Now, I don't factor in here what day these funds were bought. This is just the daily change for today. Over here on the right, it says average. So the average of all the constituents is down about 81 bips. Well, ULTY is only down 25 bips. The difference is due to all this option activity that's going on. We can't see the option activity on this chart. This is just the stock activity. We can see the underline and most of the underlines are pulling back. We can see if we just bought equal shares of all of the underlines, we'd be down almost a percent, but this fund is only down a quarter of that. So that's good. That That's what we would expect. I would be alarmed if it was different, but we'll keep an eye on this today. It looks like uh, CLMT and Redfin are really holding us back, upstart. Okay, but we're going to look at some of these now. So let's let's actually let's do this. First of all, let's see what the market's doing. Look at that. S and P's outside its Bollinger Bands. Kind of confirming outside the Bollinger Bands. That could be the start of something. Of course, it wasn't the start of something over here. So maybe this right here looks like that. Who knows? We'll see. We shall see. Let's check the NASDAQ. Boy, that looks really bullish. That looks really bullish. Okay. Well, so it should be no surprise then. So let's look at this. Let's look at all these trades. Some of these trades are our own, you know, trades I've showed you guys that are about different things. But most of these are related to ULTY, and that's a lot of green on the screen. A lot of big green profit. Look at TLN and MSTR. They've rolled this one multiple times. I was looking at this spread. I called this spread a J spread, which that sounds kind of stupid. So I quit calling it that, but I called it that once. Well, for some reason, option stretch running a little slow right now. Well, that's fine. That's fine. That happens sometimes. Once I get control of it again, I'm going to show you guys. Okay. Okay, so look how much green there is on this screen. And most of the ones that say ULTY. Now, a lot of these are related to the Trump trade, too, because I've been showing people how to how to trade volatility from the long side on DJT. But and then there were some good earnings plays. Loaded die spread. That's what I'm going to show you today. Look at this. I showed one the other day on a loaded die spread. It's up $317 right now. That's what the profit and loss graph looks like at expiration. This is what the profit and loss graph looks like now. It's derived from a ULTY strategy. Okay, so everything does well when the market's going up, though, was, was kind of my point with that. So 
ULTY on on SMR. Let's see what they did with this one. Okay, this one, they just did a multi-tranche cover call. They're fully capped. Well, I take that back. They, they, they bought stock. They sold two tranches of calls. So, yes, they're fully capped. But the stock's been moving up. They've been rolling up with the stock. They also have a long put. So, in the case that this thing, you know, collapses, they don't back hold it under 14. So this is SMR. This is New Scale Energy. Let's check out this chart. I think as it's been going up, they've been rolling with it. So um, next earnings report is in nine days. So Jay's rolling along with the turnings. Wow. Nice. Nice trade, Jay. Okay. So that's the profit and loss graph. I, he's not, I don't think he intended to put on a trade with fully capped upside he's just rolling and right now they have capped upside he'll probably cover one of these and, and uncap it here in a second or you know uh into next week these expire uh day after tomorrow or well in two days okay so let's see what else that's uh that's SMR. So then he rolled micro strategies. This has been a crazy trade. Let me show you the first trade down here. The, he's this trade's been killing it. It's up several several million dollars, and it took in a credit. It brought in a, a, a credit. It was a multi legged. Uh, um, it was a multi tranche, multi tranche uh, cover call spread, and it killed it. It went in the money. And then so he rolled out of the 205, 215, 225 configuration and he rolled into the 230, 240, 250 configuration. And this one does not have uncapped upside. This this right now is fully capped on the upside. He sold some of the some of the stock at wrote some of the options at 230, some at 240, and the rest of them at 250. So this is fully capped and above 250, he's fully capped out. Although these options expire at the end of this week, I would imagine he's he rolls this probably today. Let's look and see what MSTR is doing. Most of the things on that chart are pulling back. MSTR is up a little bit today, actually. Okay. All right, so they're killing that trade. It is fully capped, but I, I think it's just part of a roll. I mean, I, I'm not, I'm not worried about it. But sometimes they do trade fully capped positions. But then when they do that, I think they. I'll, I'll show you. I think I'll show you an example in here. All right. So Hims was a cool example. Hims is. I don't think they have stock in Hims. Hims looks to me like solely an option trade. It appears to me as if they've, uh, as if they've bought calls and then sold out of the money calls. So they, they bought a call spread. It's just a straight bullish bet. Just a straight bullish bet. It's I'm trying to think how to describe this 58% chance of profit. The theta, or not theta, that delta, it simulates 149,000 shares of HIMS stock. Even though they don't have HIMS stock, this is the equivalent of 150,000 shares long of HIMS. That's what delta means. When you buy an option, you're, you're long delta. This option they bought had 87 deltas. They bought, so they're, they bought 87 deltas. But then they wrote this option. They sold it for 46 deltas. The difference is what 41 deltas. They're long 41 deltas, but that that equates to 41 deltas times 3,600 contracts times 100 because option turn 100 equals that many shares, whatever that delta number was right there. So um, if you guys are interested, but uh, I like that kind of stuff. It, it's interesting to know because that's even though there is there is no stock, 
what this is actually simulating is this is kind of simulating what's simulating a um oh it's simulating a lot of things <laughs> it's simulating a, a covered caller where you sell a covered call but then you own an out of the money put so you don't have fully fully you don't lose down to zero you know you have capped downside it's basically what this is and you can do that by buying stock and selling a call option and buying a put option okay but you can do it synthetically also by forgetting about the stock buying an in the money call instead of the stock selling an out of the money call that's a synthetic uh long call spread it, it synthetically is like is like having stock with with limited downside it's like having it's like having stock with a married just like a synthetic married put is what it is it's a synthetic married put where you sold a call against it it's a caller it's a synthetic caller so that's another way to look at it all right well <clears throat> let's see what else we have so that's him so amsc now this is one it's just a straight cover call but this is what i was going to show you guys even though it's a straight cover call and has capped upside the market for this thing is only at 24. The, it, yeah it's capped at 27. that's 13 percent away if the market if if this stock goes up 13 percent between now and then we'll get all the credit for it in the nav of ulty we'll, we'll get plenty of upside and if it does do that, then Jay will roll. So he'll he'll make sure we get more upside by hopefully, you know, rolling the call up. But we don't have uh, we don't have uncapped upside on this one. And I think it's fine on on some of these smaller stocks where there's not as much to lose, and you can go really far out of the money with the call. I mean, when the stock's at twenty four, and it was probably at twenty when they put this on, and you're writing a twenty seven strike call. That's you know, that's, that's pretty dang good the way I look at it. All right. So we got, we have that one. So that's uh, AMSC, whatever that is. All right. So there's the Google loaded dice trade that I was going to show you guys that is inspired by ULTY trades, but let's finish the, let's finish business first. Um, Let's finish business first. ULTY, here's a trade on Talent Energy. It's doing really well. They received a $200,000 credit. And currently at this point in time, that trade's up 35000 Things are going really well in the ULTY world today. Well, considering, considering most of their underlines are down, here's the spreadsheet I made for this. Pretty advanced. Huh? Look at that. But look, CLMT's down twice as much. I need to, uh, I'll make this spreadsheet better by now. But I just threw this together real quick. But I think it's important to see that ULTY is not doing nearly as bad, not even close to as bad as just holding all the stocks long would, would have you be doing. And it's due to all this stuff Jay's been doing. It's due to all this premium he's selling. All these calls he's selling and puts he's buying and puts he's selling and calls he's buying. All this crazy stuff he's doing adds up to where if he was in stock, he'd be losing 85 basis points right now. As it is, he's only losing two and a half basis points. Um, so it, it makes a difference. And that's that's what I that's what gets me going about options. Um, all right, let's look at this ULTY verse chart one more time. There's the same chart we were just talking about. ULTY is down a quarter point, you know, and it should be down. If it wasn't doing the option strategies, it would it would be down uh, 84 bips, you know, more than three times as much. And you, you can see the ones that are really holding this one back today. So we just need these stocks to turn around. Having a real good day from T. Look at that. Jay's in leverage queues. Let's look at that trade really quick. Good trade, Jay. Leverage. That's a that's a good one to have. Nice. Jay's not bearish in front of the election like I am, or doesn't seem to be. Uh, Jay's a cool customer. When you deal with that much money for that many years, 
you uh, you don't want the bad every time the market. You just don't. As if you do, you don't deal with that much money anymore. People have taken the money from you a long time ago. So he's been successful and managed billions of dollars for, for you know, 10, 20 years now. So, all right. Or at least hundreds of millions for, for you know, for years now. Um, all right. So, but now with these, now with these ETFs, it definitely in the billions, um, okay, so what did he do on T Triple Q? So they just own the stock, which is which is triple leverage Qs. I mean, hard to go wrong with that. And uh, they own the stock, and they well, let's look here. They should own the stock and own a call and be double long, but they probably own a stock and sold a call and out of the money call. Yeah, that's what it was. So they own the stock and they're short the seventy four and a half strike. So we can look at that if you guys want to want to look at that. I didn't simulate that earlier. So we'll we'll do this covered call T Q Q Q. Okay, so we're going to own the stock and then we're going to um, add a sell call. Well, yeah, that's what this is. Okay, so. What price was it? I think it was 77 and a half, wasn't it? Um, now 74 and a half. So this has gone way in the money. He did this a few days ago because now that now this thing's trade, it's, it's in the money, but. And unfortunately, he's he's totally encumbered. He has 160,000 shares and he wrote 1600 options. So he should be totally capped out above 74 and a half. It's too bad. He didn't put the old put spread on top of that one, but I'm imagining he's probably just playing the rolling game. He'll cover and roll further and it'll go. So it probably just is, you know, it blew through his strikes today. So that's part for the course to be really interesting to see after a big day, like today, tonight's trades. So I'll try to come on tomorrow with tomorrow's ulti content. So I'm going to try to have it on by like nine or 10 in the morning. So we have longer to look at it. All right, and now for those of you guys who stayed here, we're going to take a strategy that Jay was doing in Ulti last week. He did it on Netflix on an options trade. He did this, he did an option spread, a four-leg spread, and he uh, has four legs, And he, uh, but he did it plus stock in Netflix. Netflix blew out earnings, and they it was a huge winning trade. Great, it was a great day for Ulti. Let's, um, I'm, I adopted it for, retail traders and we're going to look at the same similar concept in google who has earnings here in 30 minutes then i'm going to post this video in case anyone wants to do this trade so um it's and it's called the uh it is called the uh oh, i forget the name loaded dice loaded dice spread there it is it's already up 40 bucks from when I was showing it to people. I mean, supposedly that's probably just the bit in the ass moving around the, this. Okay. So what you're doing here, you're selling a put spread to buy a call spread. You're doing the whole thing and you're bringing in a credit of 80. It costs about seven or 800 to put this trade on about 750 to put this trade on. Um, you have about an 84% chance of, of making some type of money. And what it looks like is it looks like you have about an 84% chance of just keeping that $80. I mean, you're going to get it up front, but then you're just going to just going to keep it unless the stock drops by more than seven and a half percent. That's why it's called loaded dice trade. It's like playing dice with loaded dice. It's it's like cheating. It says if, they, if it does anything else, if it if they have a bad earnings report, but they're down six percent instead of eight, make 80 bucks. If they go nowhere, you make 80 bucks. If they have a good earnings report, they're up 6%. You make 80 bucks. If they have an outlier, something like Netflix had last week, you can make a lot more. Now, Jay did this strategy right here, brought the credit in. And he brought a bigger credit than 80 bucks because he did it thousands of times, paid it paid it to Alti shareholders, and and still, and, it's, and this trade still made extra money after the earnings were announced because Netflix's price, Netflix price went up and, uh, and anyway, the trade did really well. So that was last week. 
So if you have shares of Google, you could do this trade right here plus, plus Google. Or if you already have Google, or you could even buy Google and put on this trade. And I'll, I'll, I'll put the trade in the, uh, in the uh, comments. But I'm not really, I don't really think that's necessary because that's a big bet. That's all, you know, that's risking $17,000. I'm not that sure that Google's earnings are going to be good. I don't know if I want to risk 17, you know, now I'll leave, I'll leave calls like that to Jay. I, I just buy Alti and let him make calls like that. But I think Google's earnings are going to be good enough that they at least won't miss by more than 7%, you know, and on these types of trades, you try to make 10 or sometimes 20, sometimes you can make 20 or 30%, but, but you try to make, you try to make 10%. It's like hitting for singles, 84%. It's like getting up there and bunting if you're super fast. You know, if the third baseman has a terrible arm and you bunt right to him and you're really in your really fast, it, it's, it's easy. Okay. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. This is an easy trade. This takes advantage of the phenomenon of puts being priced rich compared to calls. Now, in single stocks, that's not usually the case. But in uh, in indexes, that is the case lots of times. Well, in any event, trades that are structured like this, they take advantages of differences in IV between the calls and the puts. And you can move risk around the curve. You can see right here, here's your bell curve. And you can, you can see all the way here, see where that says 74, 75. That means 79% of the time it's going to land on that side of the bell curve, 80, 81, 82. You can see 83. That's why that's why it's 84% chance of winning. It's just it's going to take an outlier move down. And then even if it's down 10%, it just loses 400 bucks, three, 400 bucks, you know. <clears throat> But if it has an outlier move on the way up, it can make, you know, it can make a thousand bucks and it has a real strong chance of getting on first, making 80 bucks and keeping it. So I, I'm really in love with these kinds of trades. I've never, uh, I've never seen them in a book. Um, you're just selling a put spread to finance a call spread. You could kind of call it a risk reversal. A risk reversal is where you sell a put to buy a call to finance the purchase of a call. Risk reversal has on them the downside down to zero. This is a risk reversal with limited downside. So it's so and I so I love it because I love things with limited downside. And a risk reversal is really smart because think what you're doing. You're you're selling a put, which is bullish, and puts are usually overpriced to finance buying calls. But the trick is you're spending a little bit less money on your call spread than you brought in for the put spread. I mean, and you know, and you can make, you can, and people do make a living doing trades like this. All right. So that's today's, um, that is today's, uh, what I call it? Easy layup trade or loaded dice. That's today's loaded dice. Okay. So we're going to save it and I'll hang on here and I'm going to call it the, uh, the loaded dice earnings. And I believe they have earnings after the bell. It could be first thing in the morning. I don't know. We'll see how this one works out and we'll do another one for, we have Apple earnings coming up, Amazon earnings. We have a lot of earnings coming up. If you guys like these, we'll do some more. So I'm going to post these. I'm going to post that trade in the note. I'm going to copy the link and I'm going to post this video right now. I hope you guys like the ULTY information. I'll make the spreadsheet and the information better, but I hope you like the visualization element in option strategy. Uh, thank you very much, guys. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. I'm going to go post this video right now in case anyone wants to do this, this trade on Google. I mean, <clears throat> go easy. Do it at your own risk. But all right, guys. Later.